Hello and welcome back to Vision X. My name is Roland and I hope you already watched our first video on installing Vision X. This is our tutorial video number 2. If you have not installed Vision X, I recommend going back to our first video on how to install Vision X. If you have successfully installed Vision X, you are at the right place. In this video I am going to show you how to create your first application with Vision X. As always, if you have any questions or problems getting started with Vision X, please view our documentation at doc.zipvisions.com or get in touch with our support at zipvisions.com. So let's start by creating our first application with Vision X. A new application can be created by clicking the Custom Application button in the Vision X main view or by clicking the green Add button. The new application wizard will open and lead you through the necessary steps of creating an application from scratch. In this case, we will name the application First Application. We will skip the remaining steps in the wizard by clicking the Finish button, because we do not need them right now. Let's continue by creating our first work screen. We will follow this wizard now to create a new screen which allows us to create, change and delete contact information of companies. This wizard does not only create the work screen, but also the data model in the database. Click Next in the next step wizard to go to the step for creating a new work screen. When prompted for the name of the work screen, name it Companies. You can skip over the next few steps by clicking Next, until you arrive at the step for creating the model of the work screen. As we can see, there are currently no columns in the data model. We will add several to be able to store further information about the company or the more companies. The data type will be chosen automatically based on the name of the column. With these columns added, we will also take the opportunity and mark multiple columns as mandatory. Mandatory columns must be filled out when a new record is created. We can skip over the remaining steps and click Finish to create the work screen and its model at the same time. As a next step, we want to edit the work screen. Vision X will now switch to the design mode with our new work screen already opened. In this mode, we can change the screen interactively, we can drag components, the new design mode can be toggled anytime by pressing the design button in the upper right corner. We will now edit the screen and add a generic search field to it. For this, drag the search field from the model pane into the screen to the top edge of the table. Also, we do not need all columns in the table view. Open the customizer with a click on the table and uncheck the columns which are not needed. Now that we have the screen ready, we can switch to the runtime mode by pressing the finish button in the top right corner. In runtime mode, we see the screen in all its glory. We can now start editing data to the database. By pressing the add button of the table, we will give us a new record, which we can enter data into. Our new application is now ready to be taken on a test drive. You, you can start the live preview by clicking the preview button in the toolbar. Your default browser will open the live web preview of your application. You can log in by using the uh, username admin and the password admin. Click on the companies on the left to open our new screen and we have built a complete application in some minutes with Vision X. If that was too quick for you, I would recommend checking out our tutorial at doc.zipvisions.com or just re-watch this tutorial. You can also reach out to me directly at, at rolandhermanzipvisions.com. I'm happy to help you to get on board with Vision X.